We start today's journey in Cork Kent Station. And here we see engine number 36 that was used in the run from services from Dublin to Cork until 1874. And here in Cork Kent Station we see a small shop to our right and there's also a kiosk where you can get a sandwich, hot drinks and some chocolate bars. Here we see a memorial of Thomas Kent, whom the station is named after and was an officer in the Irish Republican Army. And the 1325 service today stops at Mallow, Limerick Junction, Turles, Port Leash, Tullamore, Port Arlington, and Dublin. There's ticket machine in the station concourse where online paper tickets can be obtained and purchased and new tickets also. And an adult single ticket today costs 47 euro. And as you can see, a day return ticket costs 66 euro and 40 pence, and an upgrade to first class would cost an extra 13 euro, but not much extra benefits. Here comes our train for today, our class 201 diesel locomotive at the rear, capable of reaching speeds of 125 miles per hour. And the front pulling locomotive is a Mark 4 diesel locomotive capable of reaching speeds of 160 km per hour. And as with all Irish Rail trains, your carriage number is displayed on the side of each carriage. Let us board and see this magnificent train. As you can see, there's large luggage storage at the start of each carriage, left and right. Seats are made up of four and two seat configuration with a table and a table tray at the two person seating position. You can see power sockets only are available at each window seat and overseas visitors don't forget your charging adapter. As we can see, as we travel through the carriage here, overhead storage is available at each seat. Disability seating is also available. Your carriage number is also displayed above the doorway inside of each carriage. There is toilets in each carriage and as you can see they are clean here with running water, soap and the dryer and the toilets are well stocked. Our seat view of the whole carriage from our top standard seat, more info on this coming up. The seating here in standard class has cushioning with a headrest which I found comfortable for our journey which takes around 2 hours and 35 minutes for today. And now the secret best seat with loads of legroom as you can see very spacious. My top tip is the best legroom seat in the whole train is the F carriage and it's on aisle 67 and 68. And as the diesel engines roar on this Mark 4 train, the start for a journey for today that covers 266 kilometers or that's 165 miles. And as you can see, seats can be booked online on irishrail.ie. A phone scannable menu for the catering trolley is next to each window seat. And as we leave Cork, we head for the Irish capital, Dublin. Blarney Castle can be visited and it's only 8 to 9 kilometers from Cork City. We now pleasantly cruise through the lovely Irish countryside.
Luckily, our train stops right at the River Blackwater, which is at Mallow County Cork, for some spectacular views of the river. We now arrive at Mallow Railway Station, County Cork. Our train today reached max speeds of 158 kilometers per hour with an average speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Wi-Fi is available on Irish Rail intercity trains, but I always find the signal sporadic, so it's best to use your mobile data. The carriages can get a little shaky as the diesel locomotive picks up speed. Ballyhora Mountains comes into view as we leave Cork and on to Limerick Junction, our next stop on the journey. Passengers for Limerick should change here for their connecting train. The 2800 diesel multiple units is here and is to carry passengers from Limerick Junction to Limerick City as we pull into Limerick Junction here. And here comes the catering trolley and this trolley service is available on all services from Cork to Dublin and Dublin to Cork. And as you will see there's a service of hot and cold drinks available here and pastries, sandwiches and also some chocolate bars if you're feeling peckish. Now run on the home stretch through County Kildare, which is famous for the Curra racing track. As we approach Euston Station in the capital of Dublin, the Wellington Memorial comes into view. I will explain its history later in this video, so stay tuned. We get through the crowds at Euston Railway Station, which can get busy as you can see, which is why I always recommend reserving a seat online where possible. Houston Station has a great selection of cafes, shops and it also has some vending machines and ATMs if need be. Welcome to Dublin and here we see the Dublin Express bus which can be taken to Dublin Airport. And right outside Houston Station here we see the Lewis stop. You can take the Lewis to the Point or Connolly. Either will drop you at the Jervis Street which Temple Bar is only 5 minutes walk from there. In addition any Lewis towards the Point or Connolly will drop you here at Abbey Street which is right in the heart of Dublin and the centre near O'Connell Street.
also visit Kilmainham Jail or Gallows, a must-see when here in Dublin. It's an old Victorian-style prison. It's designed by Jer- Jeremy Bentham. It housed prisoners of the Irish Republican Army in, from the 1916 Rising, and who, most train stations are named after that we visited here in Ireland. Does these steps look familiar? I think so, because the film In the Name of the Father starring Daniel Day-Lewis was filmed here. The 1916 leaders, and whom most Irish train stations are named after, were executed here, a white cloth was placed over their heart, and they were shot by firing squad. And you can also pay a visit to Glasnevin Cemetery, which housed many Irish Republican leaders, like Michael Collins, the big fellow, from whom hail from Cork. And lastly, the Wellington Memorial to honour Arthur Wellesley, the first Duke of Wellington, known for his defeat of Napoleon in the Battle of Waterloo, the largest obelisk in Europe. And I hope you enjoyed today's journey, and if so, click the like for more great videos.